you just got back from France, chin up big son, you did your fans proud, some of whom got to do a fag run. If you met the Irish fans out there who grew on you like a bunion, with ginger sunburnt skin and breath like potato cheese and onion, it wasn't any bother or I grew away at police. Her boys were too busy, drinking dry every born niece. If you remember Northern Ireland's first game against the Poles, we fought like Big Frampton, but we got no goals. To be fair to Big Mill, like I heard his goal was sublime. I can't remember, sure I was on the Buckfast panic wing. Game two, Hailstone stopped the play. Ref, are you raking? Us in Ukraine, we're used to it. It's not Mexico versus Jamaica. But once we came out, we got the win. Two wonder goals, one from Macaulay and one from Wien Elm again. If you saw the Sweden game, Big Zlatan got them out of jail. He struts around like a hard man, but here, hold on a second, chum, you have a ponytail. Then the Belgians proved the football isn't all about handshakes. Sure, we see along with two cantonal kung fu kicks to the bake. If you're worried about the Germans stuffing us and fluffing your bet, no sweat. Sure, with big Mickey McGovern in this. Brady's goal against the Italians meant all odds were to fail, and Ireland went bucked off as both sides qualified. And here, if you saw a game in Paris, we were a better team than Wales. Only difference is they have your big man, we Gary Bale. Brady scored again, and Kano leapt about eight foot off the bench. But unfortunately for the boys in green, they got robbed again by the French. If you can sing yourself hoarse about Greg, he's not even on the pitch, and blow a month's wages in a week and still feel rich. If you don't boo, but actually cheer when your team hasn't won, that just means you're an Ireland fan, big son.